Hey everybody, it's Dan, and it has been a long time since I have been so excited to unbox a piece of equipment. And uh, it's not that there are things in this box that I've never seen before, but I just, I love what they did. This is another product by OsoU, and it is called the Yun IoT Kit for Arduino, model DKRK101100. Made in China, and I have not opened it, but what I thought was that I was browsing Amazon, just looking for different stuff, like what have I not seen, what's out there, what's cool, what's unique, and I came across this kit, and the idea of it is, is that it is like an all-in-one smart home kit, and so basically you can put all these little sensors in this mini, I would guess it's like a laser cut wooden house, and see how all these things interact and I absolutely love that idea so let's crack it open we open it and ooh okay so oh all right this is exciting so what we have here is a list of all the the stuff that comes in it it comes with a mega 2560 which I'm a fan of um it's you know got some more memory it's got more pins love it the Yun Shield. I've actually never used a Yun Shield, and I'm going to be honest, with you, I don't really know what a Yun Shield is, but I'm guessing, and maybe it's called Yun, I'm guessing it has something to do with Wi Fi or network connectivity. I don't know, we'll find out. RFID modules, I'm super into RFID, ultrasonic, I squared C display, some LEDs and servos, and motion detector, and a photoresistor, and, and just all kinds of fun stuff in this box. So let's see what we got. First of all, we have the pièce de résistance. We have the Osoyu Mega, and uh, I've bought a lot of different clones before, and uh, they've got their screen printed on the back like that. That's a quality touch. Nice, uh, I guess you'd call that like a solder mask or something like that. Um, yeah, the board feels good. Everything looks like it's soldered on there well. It's clean. Um, yeah, happy with that. I love these things, these little relay modules. I have them in single units, twos, fours, eights. Uh, great. This looks like a little breadboard. Yeah, this is a, a breadboard power supply. So basically, you can pop this thing on the breadboard and then you get a, a barrel jack connector so you can power your breadboard that way and a little on off switch and a USB port and all that stuff. Very cool. So this thing here, um, yeah, I mean, judging by the antenna, that's it's Wi Fi. Ooh, Wi Fi and ethernet this is very very cool i don't even really know what i'm holding but i'm excited to hold it uh yeah i i don't know i'm geeking out over this thing here this uh i'm gonna have to do some research on this because i honestly don't know what it is but it looks to me like it is an ethernet and wi-fi shield which is pretty sweet okay so then we have our simple uh that's, that's supposed to be there. We have our uh, I squared C 16 by 2 display, the ultrasonic. We have a looks like a DHT 11 temperature sensor. Uh, I'd guess that's a speaker MQ. That's one of the gas sensors, maybe a fire sensor, something like that. Um, looks like an IR receiver. This is a photo resistor, like a photo cell type thing. Let's flip these two over, see what they are. That looks like an RGB LED. I don't can't really get that out. Uh, there we go. Ah. Looks like another RGB LED, uh, three color. So you open it up and you get the OsoU DVD CD that has tutorials, libraries, videos, everything here so you don't have to go hunt it down. And then this is cool. This is, this is awesome. This is all the wooden pieces. I'm not going to take all these little bits and bobs out of the package, but this allows you to build a little model house to put all your IoT sensors in. So we have quite the collection of, uh, of male to female and male to male DuPont wires in different sizes. Your standard PIR motion detector, a little screwdriver, it's a nice touch, some resistors and capacitors and things like that stuck in there, some little plastic doodads, like little screws, that's cool, they're little, I guess they're nylon uh, screws to assemble the thing, and wow, those are some very tiny screws. Here, I don't even know if you can see. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. some tiny, tiny screws. Um, your standard RFID. This is a 13 megahertz model. A uh, 
four by four keypad, breadboard in the package, servo, some LEDs and surface mount push buttons and all that kind of stuff, and the thick, short um, USB cable. So that is the kit. And to be honest, I am pretty excited to put this thing together. I'm not going to build the whole thing on the video because I think that would be some of the most boring YouTube on the face of the earth. Uh, it's up there with C-SPAN. But I will assemble this thing and let you guys know how it comes out. Okay, so I was originally going to set up a timer and see how long this took. But basically, it took me about 20 minutes. But I didn't want to rush. Like, I wanted this to be an enjoyable process. And so... Um, You'll notice I didn't always put in all four screws. I'm probably going to take this thing apart and uh, let my students put it back together. But I just, I love the attention to detail. Every single screw hole lined up. And even things like this where you have this, uh, let me see if I can tilt right. You know, to be able to view what the wires are. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But there's labels on these wires. And they took the time to cut out a notch so that you can see that kind of stuff. Or, um... Let me think here. Even on the, the Arduino board, they took the time to put the little, uh, right there, they took the time to put a little spacer right there so that the Ethernet jack doesn't run into the um, USB jack and short out. And just everything, just, it seems right. Like, it seems like they did a good job. And, you know, you can have a whole bunch of 37-in-1 sensor kits out there, and those are really cool, but these people took time to do this. They took time to... I hate to use the word, but they engineered it. And so uh, I'm going to keep the build going. The only thing I could say, there's there's one little nitpick I could say, is that in the entire kit, this one, this uh, RFID sensor, is the only one that didn't have the header pins soldered on. And uh, I went back in my box of, I have a box of these things, and, and I checked, and none of them have the, the header pins soldered on. So it wasn't like a mistake from the factory, but... Um, I guess if you want to use the RFID, you're going to have to learn how to solder. So that's not a bad skill. Uh, the header pins are a little bit of a tiny place to learn how to start. But other than that, I don't have a single bad thing I can say about the kit so far. Okay, so right after I shut off the camera, I got to the part where you assemble this box. And I love this idea. This goes back into the engineering thing. What, what they did is, I have one of these laser cutters. And you can make these little tabs as tight of tolerances as you want but you're always dealing with this thing where you know is it going to be loose or am I never going to be able to take it apart again and so what they did is they got these little rubber o-rings that they put on here and they allow you to put the box together in a way that's pretty decent and gives the box a little decent feet and everything but also allows it to be taken apart again and Again, it's another one of those things. It's just a little tiny touch, but if you want to take this thing apart, and you're probably going to want to, then this is great. Like, this is a great method to hold the thing together. And I can't say it enough. I'm a fan. Okay. I'm going to show you something that may scare you a little bit. Make sure you're seated. Make sure you don't have a drink in your mouth or anything like that. You ready? Three, two, one. That is a lot of wires. I'm not joking. That is a lot of wires. Um, I have big hands, and so for me, getting down in some of these spots was a little tough. But the wiring overall, it wasn't bad. And if I wasn't taking this apart, I might have tried to zip tie all these things together. Um, the fact is, if you're a maker, you're going to be dealing with DuPont wires, and you're you're going to get used to having to, to use these little wires. They're just a part of making. And so um, I think it's good to get used to them. I think you need to take your time. I think you need to read the wiring diagrams and all that stuff. If I had it to do over again, one thing I would do is I would put all the wires on the sensors before I attach the sensor. So in other words, like I would put the wiring harness on these things, on this RFID sensor, and then slide the wires through. Because for me, the hardest part is getting the ones that are way down there. Um, it's not undoable. I did it with my hands, used a flashlight, had this, and it wasn't bad. Just giving you a heads up, there's a lot of wires. Okay, it is done. And so before I take you over to the unit itself, I wanted to show you the tutorial that comes on the disc. There's some basic information about how to use Blink and all that kind of stuff. And they give you an overview of how Blink works, how to download the apps, 
how to connect it and get started with a basic LED and all that kind of stuff. So it's really uh, well thought out. If you come down here and start looking at them, basically, uh, well, I just showed you the LED a little bit. You know, you get the idea of the the buzzer. They're starting you from basically wiring it one item at a time, putting it on blink, and um, they tell you, you know, what needs to be connected where. And one of the things I like about this kit is that it doesn't reuse the pins. If you buy a typical um, Arduino starter kit, a lot of times what it's going to do is it's going to hook everything up to pin 7 or something, and then just combining the sketches becomes a little bit of a pain. So what they've done is they've thought of that in advance and are using unique pins for every single thing that you have. And so they go down here, they give you the blink sketch and tell you how to upload it, tell you what widgets to add and all that. So that's all really cool. Um, it's kind of funny when you get to the, uh, let me come back up here. When you get to the tutorial and there's a lot of wires and I, I showed you the wiring thing. Here's the wiring diagram. And I would say, if you if you buy this kit, I would say come down here to these, and uh, they'll say you know RGB model module one go uh, red, green, and blue this way, and just very simple to hook these wires up. It takes a little bit of time, but this is an intermediate kit. This is something for people who want to get a little bit more advanced than just the basic hook up an LED. They need to hook up a bunch of stuff and make it all work together. So that's pretty cool. Let me show you what I decided to do with it. Here it is. It's assembled and up and running and, and all that kind of stuff. And every sensor I tested on there, it all works. Um, what I decided this thing would be really good for is something like either a science fair project or in my case, thinking like a teacher, I love the idea of every single student having their own sensor, whether it's the gas sensor or the uh, or the flame sensor, which might be a little dangerous, but the uh, the light sensor, you can see that just turns on and off automatically. Um, I think it's kind of a cool idea to have every kid or something like that add their own sensor to the box and be able to interact with it. And so instead of using the app, what I did was I set it up so that if you push this thing, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read the screen. Okay, so I went with a little bit more of an indirect lighting, so hopefully you can see the screen. But basically what I've done is, uh, if you come on here and you press, I'll do a smoke check. You press number two, you get a smoke check, and it says that it's clear, or a fire check, and it's clear. Three will um, tell you the temperature, 79 degrees, 40% Fahrenheit. Uh, this one will tell you the light level, which, let's see if I can... Workbench lights on. So we're at 116 now. Let's see what happens if I do that again. Number four, we're at 120 with my workbench lights on. Here you get the distance of the ultrasonic sensor. If I were to come over here and press five, three centimeters, 15, eight, you know, whatever. So the, the ultrasonic sensor works. Let's see, six is checking for motion. I, I moved the box as I pressed it. Uh, seven is kind of cool. You It's the RFID sensor. So if you come here and press seven, it'll tell you in this situation that it found Dan and it moves the servo. If I press this one, um, it'll tell me access denied because I didn't have the right card. So it's, it's a very cool kit. And what I like about it is that you can basically use any type of sensor. You can, you can mix and match and you can play. I didn't do anything with the relays, but I did test them that they work. Um, but basically, all these functions that did this stuff, I took their functions and I just connected them to the keypad. And so they basically give you everything you need to get started. It's really flexible. Um, I, I think it's a kit that's worth checking out. Now, one of the things I think is really cool, though, is as I was building this kit, I reached out to the developers of it and just talked to them. And they, they're really cool guys. And like I said, I was really impressed with the way they built this. And I wanted to kind of know where they were going with it because... Uh, I heard some rumors that they're releasing a new version of the kit and what they're talking about doing is building more wiring harnesses to make it a little bit easier and neater to clean the, the things up. They've talked about getting away from the uh, the Arduino Yoon and doing an ESP8266, which I think is a really good move. Um, but regardless whether you get this one or that one, I, I think the cool thing is that it's a company that seems to be uh, wanting to keep improving their products. and. Of course, you know, I had to ask that when I was talking to them, I asked them if they would sponsor a giveaway for our group. And what they decided to do is they decided to give us 
one of the robot kits. And so I'm going to do some links and I'm going to show you how to sign up to win one of the robot kits that this company makes, that Oh So You makes. And so get online, sign up. You only have a couple days to do it. And if you click the subscribe button and you click that little bell, you'll be the first to know about these type of contests. So thanks for your time and I will see you in the next video.